myself and I need your caress I just think of you And the thought of you holding me near Makes my loneliness soon disappear to close my eyes and you are back to stay I just close my eyes and the sadness that missing you brings soon is gone and this heart of mine sings yes I sun falls from out of the sky for what else can I do I will wait for you meditating how sweet life will be when you come back to Someone to love me right, that would be very nice Someone to understand each little dream in me Someone to take my hand, to be a team with me So nice, life could be so nice If one day I'd find Someone who would take my hand and samba through life with me Someone to cling to me, stay with me, right or wrong. Someone to sing to me, some little samba song. Someone to take my heart, then give his heart to me. Someone who's ready to give love a start with me. Oh yes, that would be so nice. Should it be you and me, I could see it would be Was me, the compact disc edition. Yeah. Uh, it's just like the other show, but there'll be two more songs in it, so that's, that's one difference. And uh, you can get these from me afterwards. Uh, I give them to you now, but they shine like this, and I'll, you know. <laughs> but, and I'll give this one to you, Will. I won't shine again. Thank you. So this is the lyrics of Norman Gimbel. But first, I gotta introduce these guys. On bass, we have the wonderful Mr. John Burr. Yeah. <laughs> and the man of wonder at the keyboard is Mr. Tex Arnold. Yeah. So it was that first song, Let Go, that got me into the lyrics of Norman Gimbel, which I discovered the way I find so many 
important things by watching Mitzi Gaynor clips on YouTube. <laughs> this is the opening number from her 1969 television special. She's got eight dancing men in their black tuxedos with little velvet bow ties, and they're just kind of chugging on this black lacquered set. They don't snap their fingers, they're too cool for that. They're just kind of chugging, and then Mitzi just descends from rafters, literally. And she's wearing this gorgeous Bob Mackie skin enhanced, not enhancing, just tight sheath she's got on. And the whole thing is so glamorous and adult and mature and just sexy. It's kind of like a counterculture to the counterculture. You know, the, the hippies and letting it all hang out. Because there's nothing hanging out on Mitzi's stage. They are holding on so tight to that last bit of glamour before we all come together in the 70s into this molten ball of earth tone polyester. <laughs> and so that, that, that glamour juxtaposed with lyric intrigued me. So I found the sheet music, saw lyrics by Norman Gimbel, and I thought, God, that's familiar. And I remember, oh yeah, it was me, the Gilbert Bico uh, song. Norman Gimbel wrote the lyrics to that too. And I thought, wow, what an esoteric little pop lyricist. Let me see what other gems I can find. And man, there's so much. His, his pop career goes back to the early 50s, a ricochet romance with, for Teresa Brewer, and Sway for Dean Martin, Papaya Mama for Perry Como, Canadian Sunset for Andy Williams. In the 60s, you have I Will Follow Him, Girl from Ipanema, How Insensitive, Watch What Happens. Uh, and in the 70s, you've got uh, Killing Me Softly with his song, I Got a Name. Uh, it goes like it goes. TV themes, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Wonder Woman. Ooh. Yeah, right. So this discovery is kind of like, you know, wondering if Oscar Hammerstein wrote something besides this was a real nice clam bake. <laughs> it's all just right there. These amazing songs that everybody knows. So go to YouTube after you watch the Mitzi Gaynor clips. You type in Norman Gimbel. You find two clips, kind of bookend his career. The first from 1958 on the Merv Griffin game show Player Hunch, and the contestant has to decide from the three uh, songwriters in front of her. Uh, there's Jerry Lieber, Burt Bacharach, and Norman Gimbel. Which one of those guys wrote Hound Dog, the big song of 1958? <laughs> now it's 58, not 68. It's the very beginnings of these giants of their pop careers. And uh, what does Merv Griffin give these men as a parting gift for agreeing to appear on the show? Gives them the Estabrook Safari pen and pencil set with 32 retractable points. <laughs> It is a verifiable fact that these men used these pens over the next three decades to write all of their amazing songs. <laughs> it's the magic of Merv Griffin. That's what it is. And then uh, go ahead 50 some years, it's now the summer of 2011, and Norman Gibble's being interviewed. He's, got, uh, he's in his 80s now, he has a beautiful tan, leathery old man face. And he's got the, the slick back hair and the well tailored blazer. He's lived a good life, you know. And he's there being interviewed by this uh, very vivacious interviewer, a brunette woman from Starcam.com. And they kind of get their flirt on, and you, you, can, you can get that Norman is a seasoned flirt. And maybe he didn't write How Dog, but he, maybe he lived it just a <laughs> little You get that feeling? And so she's talking to him, she's like, Norman, I've written so many great things, killing me softly with his song, Sway. It goes like it goes. What are you working on now? And Norman says, you. <laughs> and she's like, oh, Norman, you're so funny. <laughs> and he's like, I'm serious. <laughs> and I'm dangerous. <laughs> the shore, hold me close, sway me more, like a flower bending in the breeze, bend with me, sway with ease, when we dance you have a way with me, stay with me, sway with me, other dancers make me on the floor, dear but my eyes will see Marimba 
Sweet. 